All right, here we have a drawing which has been scanned into Photoshop. And I'm going to take this very nice hand drawing and make it even better using some of the Photoshop tools. And the first thing you should do whenever you scan something into Photoshop is ask yourself if it could benefit from a little image adjustment because the answer is almost always yes. So go to Image, Adjustment, and Brightness Contrast. Um, I'm going to make this brighter. I can see it's a little dark. Um, I can do maybe 25 and make it a little bit more contrasty as well. I think 20 for that one. Uh, right here is a preview that, which you can click on and off to go back to what it looked like originally. I think we can agree that looks much better. Okay, the next thing I want to do before I start adding things is find my vanishing points. As you know, um, everything goes back to the vanishing points, so it's pretty important. So I'm going to draw some lines on a, a new layer. I just created a new layer. That way I can turn it off. I can uh, just erase it when I'm done. So I'm going to find a pretty obnoxious color that won't blend into anything or, um, you know, or be hard to see. I think that's pretty hard to ignore. I'm going to use my line tool and I'm going to line it up with a corner of a shape and then follow one of those edges back to about there. And I'll do one of these. And of course where that crosses, right here where they intersect, is my vanishing point. Let's do one more just to be sure. All right, great. And now let's do our other vanishing point because of course this is a two-point perspective and line it up, let's see, and keep going. And once we get the second vanishing point, we'll also know where um, our horizon line is. I'm going to try something bigger. Those are a little hard to see. So try that, maybe that line right there. Looks like it's going way off of our page, but uh, just having those lines you know, I know that you've done this by hand in uh, the beginning of the book. You can still, it still helps you to see where everything is going. And we can, of course, now add our horizon line as well so that if we're adding people later, this is where the eye level will be. Okay, so if you, you'll notice that these all came in as different. Um, each time I drew a line, it was called a shape, and it came in on a different layer. So what I did was I just went and highlighted all of them. And this is a great um, trick to know with Photoshop, how you can manipulate some of the layers. I've highlighted all of them that I want to put together into one, and then just right click, and it says Merge Layers. And now it's all on one layer, which I can rename Vanishing Points. And that way I can turn this off if I want to. And now we're ready to get started with some adding some reflections.